What is up my Dragon Cur Dragon here and welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now this game just came out right on the day before April Fool's Day and by the way this might be on April Fool's so so yeah so this is technically an April Fool's Day that Sega and the Sonic team have made and honestly looks really real love how it looks so far the tile screen and all that so anyway let's get to it oh and by the way, uh, this is also a visual novel game. This is the first Sonic visual novel game we play. All right. Phew. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. All right. Well, obviously, this is my name. Dragon, did I spell that right? No, no fucking shit. Uh, Alright, let's click on this. Hope passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, okay. This is really cool. Dining car. Alright, that's really cool. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? I get that. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, shake it off. Oh god, what the hell? Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, Dragon, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? It's an everyday thing. M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh quite alright myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything alright? Uh, well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Ooh, nice. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia Lock. Oh, Spagonia still mentioned. That's cool. Our shower's been on. Uh, sh yeah, our shower's been on the fritz. So I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why is his wife excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working a dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. Well, let's take a look. Oh, all right. Let's see. Chili dog. Oh my God! They put ramen in the game. Oh my God! And chicken cordon blue. Okay, not a bad one. Let's go. <coughs> I can open the inventory anytime. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did already. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> wow, okay. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do serve in the dining car? We just saw the menu. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state of the art high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together. Me and this train is not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? I'm curious myself. A murder mystery party. Oh? Nothing better than some thrills to end my ten tenure as I think that's how they say it as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as this as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do, to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Uh, I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Alright, what we got? Oh! 
Oh, it's the gang. Oh, there's Amy. Oh, she looks really nice. She looks really cute. Oh, there's Tails. Wow, this trade is incredible. What fantastic tech. Oh, there's Vector. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this, Amy. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, so in this game, today's Amy's birthday. All right. Oh, there's Rouge. Oh, she looks really nice. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. And Knuckles. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's going to miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of carriages am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Dragon. You're sweating through your uniform. <gasps> oh, it's Sonic! Oh, look at the outfit! Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Okay. Oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until everyone's rolls to get food. Ah, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Dragon, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Okay, we get to talk to anyone. All right. Oh, there's Blaze. All right, we got Rouge, Blaze, oh, Shadow, Amy, Espio. The hell is Espio wearing? Okay. Uh, Vector and. Oh, okay. Uh, who we got here? Oh, in the gang! Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Uh, let's start with Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? Oh, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Alright, we got it. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 pill out of my pocket. Can I have to kindly ask for that back? Oh, God. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> All right, Blaze. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, just uh, very straightforward. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Empress as such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did you just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Oh, the soul dimension. Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit, I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow for a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Okay. All right, Shadow. Here. Oh, all right. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. That's there. We're so cold. Dragon, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ah, uh, no, no. I'm good. Alright, Amy! Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Yeah, why certainly. There it is. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? I agree! And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Oh? Did not know that. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Oh, okay. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. <coughs> it's practically tradition. Sorry. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. 
Hi, Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Wait, is something I missed, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns out. Ah, that would be ama amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. I think that might be a mission. Can we please see your ticket? Of course. There's Espio. Excellent. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You concern me calming? Oh, wait! He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, he can read minds! He's a ninja! I forgot about that. Wow. New jit ninjutsu? I hope I said that right. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on the walls? Cling on the walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a little bit too smug on that answer. Uh, let's let's get this. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Don't mind if I do. Dragon, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Dragon only gets one of those if they ask. Uh, okay. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time, so you'll have to work hard in that to get you what you want. Dragged. The snap looks tasty, too. Alright, alright. Here we go. The main guys. Let's start with Sonic. Ticket, please. There we go. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Alright, Tails! Can I get your tick? Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're Sparkle Gelatin Buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train was normal. <laughs> Alright, no, wait, wait a second. What's sticking out the napkin holder? Oh, it's the ticket! Say, wasn't someone looking for the, their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. And make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket to add to your inventory. Okay, Vector. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Dragon, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Alright. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Oh, old dragon here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Ah, there's Vector. Being cocky. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? <laughs> you both are right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. <coughs> Alright, Knuckles. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? There it is, and I think that's a ticket. 
but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Every day looks good. Thank you. Seems like a doctor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's role for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. Wait, why is it red? You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Dragon if they need any help, won't you? Aha, that's all I needed to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Dragon here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the alpha guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and arrest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are the ship captain and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Again, the red. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are detective. You will be here in the dining car. In deputy, the 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 frick. All right, Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <coughs> wow, the face though. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. You're not SBO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did it? Did you get all that? Yes, I did. Ah, I was listening in. Hope, that, hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help assure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. I have a map for each of you. Okay, so this must be stuff for the train. Alright. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map adds to your inventory. Alright. The rules of this game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But, you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must gather evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do the thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Alright. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Oh, thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, uh, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No. The lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. 
And Tails is, uh... My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I was a stuck on microwave duty. Wait. Oh! Oh boy, here we go. This is something. This, the train started moving. It, it's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Ah! No. Oh! What just ha- Oh! Okay, what just happened here? You're both awake. Y yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Am I alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach some incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? <coughs> it's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Dragon, can you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, get that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh-oh. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. Okay. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues of why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you find around this closet, and then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Oh? I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Oh, this is a flashback. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear. Now let's get searching. Alright, here we go and... Yeah, Amy is looking suspicious. Alright, let's see. The shelf blocking our exit. Certainly not budging. Hey, dragon. Look closely at this. Oh? I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. This train has been too much kept up kept. Upkeep, sorry. Can't read. I feel like this is important. We should log it crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, here, let's we'll see what's here. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become an optimistic as this kid? Wow, okay, let's see. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave deals. I prefer to cook. Like as Iron Skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean Kai's Iron Pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Okay, but, uh, uh... Let's check the left floor. Ah, the left floor sign. Keep people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spill juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Oh, I hate that. Trust me. I know what it's like. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow. Sonic is really as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. Ha! <laughs> we slid into an old gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Uh, is there anything else I need to look for here? Uh, let's see. Okay, we got crack on the shelf. So that's something here. Um, wait. Oh, what's that? What's this? A rod? Wait a second. 
the tip is broken. It looks like it have been around. Uh, it looks like to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. All right, let's talk to her. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? Oh, I'll keep looking. Uh, let's just talk. Oh, oh, I already, uh, I already did that. All right, start interrogation. Let's do it. Amy. Ooh, the music. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? Oh, don't pull that. How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? It's the murder mystery, of course. It's not going to be easy. If you want to find a murderer, of course they're going to lie. I've been stuck in here with just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Um... Let's do attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Dragon and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Dragon, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence for your inventory. Once that's been deduced, deduced we must form an our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempts to escape? Okay, so this has to be it. Has to be the crack on the shelf. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Alright, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How about, how does, how does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well, hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Why are you asking him? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bagnets. He never loses. That's true. Like, like an endless runner game. I play those a lot of those on my phone. Yep, Sonic Runners. This was mentioned. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like what's like Sonic would do. Oh, okay, think. Oh, um. All right, let's go. Okay, so we, okay, so we gotta collect rings, all right. Oh, the spring effect, though. Alright, we did it. We got it. Okay. Idea. Sure, the shelf fell. But there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train that's well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Oh, we got her! <laughs> well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick! Get the stick! What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Okay, well, time to do this again. <clears throat> okay, I gotta admit, this game is really good. I love this game. Maybe an April Fool's thing, but it's really fun. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. All right, got it. We're good. This is really fun. Okay. Idea, let's do it. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to which to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could let's like let's say a hammer. Oh, okay. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. 
Maybe screwed. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh. Ah! We got her! It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap. That whap. <laughs> whap, really? And the hand. Whack! And the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's like, it's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I needed it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back. Oh boy. Oh! The shell completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Alright. Okay, I like this. Oh! Why? Wait, is that? <gasps> no! Sonic! It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Wait, why is she excited? Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! Okay. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Hmm? Sonic? Wait. Eh? Body numb. Can't move. What?! Wait, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? Oh, no! He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this the part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh, no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down. What do I do? <coughs> oh boy. Uh, seriously? Oh boy. I need to catch it up to Amy and Tails to get to the bottom of this. Even if this is a part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. So is Sonic really dead? Wow. They made it look real. Oh. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, the saloon. So this might be where... Who are? Who are here? Whoa, look at this place. Wait, who are here? Saloon. Oh, Knuckles would be here. Okay. Amy, you here? I looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha <laughs> ha He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would have actually happened to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap a lot, in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper, deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. If Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha, <laughs> ah, fair. As I said, the best, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever need me looking glum, though, catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my little card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. 
This, that, this is true. You vermits. Ha! <laughs> Where do y'all, where do y'all, y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can't see that. Amy Mosley on through and told me all about it. Cough, enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Dragon, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate the clues in there and interrogate. Right, let's do it. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's start with uh, the door. Huh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good good point. When we when were when were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? Amy has a key to the train. Did you not remember that? We'll have to keep this in mind. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The <laughs> complacent salute snack. Okay. Kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt off him. What? The <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. Tails. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Oh. What's the arm doing to my hair? He's fixed it. He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can a microwave? All right. What we got here? Something's always in the trash. Let's check. Is it empty? Ah, uh, it's empty as well. Okay. I'm starting to think your theory on something's always being hidden in this trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. So only as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> wow. Dragon, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Dragon, this one has lipstick on the rim. Wait, that might be rouge. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should lock this. Yeah, it might have been Rouge's. I don't know. All right, the painting. Breathtaking views. Oh, that's a window. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at high in a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. <laughs> All right, the machine. <coughs> Clearly, we won't be able to give the name, the game. Oh, Monkey Ball, okay. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more caused from punches. Who could have done that? Knuckles. Uh, what are you two looking at me for? <laughs> I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Let's do it. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave. Alright, let's just start the interrogation. Knuckles, Dragon and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour when the murder take place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything from me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Oh? It, it is? We have evidence too. We do? Yes! Dragon, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? 
The machine. That arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Oh, we gotta do this again. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, these tend to get a little bit tougher. Alright, here we go. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that damages are punches? What are y'all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available for me. Wow. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you? I'm on a dragon. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Okay, let's do it. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Ah! Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. No. No, 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 no. Give me the rings. Give me the rings. Give me the rings. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we made it. Thank god. We're good. I was gonna say, we would've lost. The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on top of the list. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car. Uh, the picture in the be is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see what who could get the highest score. And Vector beats you. <laughs> In a frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. What? <laughs> You're guessing. What's your proof? What's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now. And we gotta do this again. Oh, this is gonna be a difficult one. Alright, here we go. I just go up. Yeet! 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 Alright, there we go. We got it. Alrighty, here we go. Now, dragon. What proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Hmm. This? No! I thought it was strange there. There was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoy some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, uh oh. Uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in on the, at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. It was Super Monkey Ball's easy. How would it be difficult? When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honestly, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've been already I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains wanting to use cups. But what if the cup of the lipstick mark? It's Rouge. It's gotta be Rouge. I knew it! I knew it was Rouge! I called it! I knew it. It's in... It's... that. It's Inquisition. Yeah, fine. I, I can't read. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. 
Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and like I told everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you too relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, oh, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Oh? I want to step back onto something I noticed. One more name on the high score doesn't make sense. Dragon, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high list, high score list, what is this talking about? Who? Which, which one? Uh, this one? All the other names have a food theme, but this one? Who goes by the name of all? Shadow! It's Shadow! It might be sh Oh, Shadow! It's Shadow! There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to be Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Oh, the key! Shadow told me to lock the door and not to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The good doctor gave her that special birthday key. Yeah, I said that. Well, I have a lot of questions. Tails. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. And they didn't tell me. Even though I act with that cowboy accent. Jesus Christ. You're gonna have to find them to ask them yourselves. Okay, more information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Dragon. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. <coughs> Dragon! Keep coming! Alright, let's get moving. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it. You got it, partner. Onwards! Let's get moving! Let's solve the- Oh, the library! Okay, so I believe Vector and Espio are here. All this stuff's getting real heavy. I'll dub what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, SBO and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, she knows everything allowed to be sass. Everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you in quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the master birthday key. I'm go I'm surprised. You noticed. Of course. It's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy must be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Look at my suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Just making sure things go well. Things are going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. 
Besides murder? Ah, my social skills, non existent. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <clears throat> and I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, cheer drops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la, dee 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 dee. <laughs> that was a sing. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Dragon and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all set off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked up a book off a shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seeing me looking for something. Then she went up. Then she went to search the saloon, the saloon car. Then she came back shortly after. We heard her shout, "No way!" at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on a hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey actions, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it alright. We sat there trapped until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems that Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be surrounded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should see still search for clues. What we're looking for is for any evidence to that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. <laughs> A lot of these not, were knocked out when, by the train speeding up, but Rouge pulled a lot of the, these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Mm, let's see. Oh, the globe. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I like to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, obviously. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat, either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The, the good doctor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If, you ever visit, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area. It makes one scrumptious sandwich. Cucumber sandwiches. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? You gotta love you gotta love it. Okay, let's see. What else can we get here? Oh, the picture. A chow hangs pressure precautiously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Ow! I really needed to see this. <sighs> oh. 
Ooh, excuse me. Sorry for the yawn. This little child's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there's that much been thought put into this poster. Right? Huh. That is something. To be honest, I'm loving this game. I'm loving it. This is really good. Uh, let's see. Oh, the table. Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me in the right mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes for a bit. Dragon, no. Don't fall asleep. There's a bit of murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. I'd be a, we'd be a millionaire. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there's something be there. Dragon, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Dragon, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Just take it, just take it, dude, just take it. What's this? Oh, brochures. There are travel design destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Dragon, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This needs to be a map of the library car. The books are, or are categ categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Okay, we'll take it. Shouldn't we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's a statue I can't read! Nah, leave it. Oh, huh. Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Anything else? Oh! Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want it to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Let's see. Oh! What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet? You may not be wrong. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, the door! Shadow supposedly walked through the library door before going into the saloon car. Wait, it's unlocked. When Shadow left the library car, he locked his door on the way out. There's gotta be a reason why he's doing this. Shouldn't we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to the inventory. Hmm, let's see. Uh, what else can we get? Oh, oh, I already, uh, I already did that. Uh, the books? Uh, that's nothing. Ah! Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else we need? Let's talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Maybe a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried bringing a knife on the train? I'm a man of a, of, of a vicious- Ah! Damn it! Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Starting target. Uh, can I take your order? Oh yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. But why would you show the menu to me? <laughs> oh come on! I'm teasing. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Um, let's just do the interrogate. Damn it. Interrogation. Mm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Let me take a little more first. Okay. But, but for what? I don't see... Look at this again. No. Uh, SPO? Can I get a poem about space? I made up in space with my beloved antique face. But a mis mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Uh, start interrogation. No? What the hell am I supposed to get? Is there any more things I need to... Oh, wait a second! Chaos Cult... <laughs> Check out our book club. Book of the Month Gone Gal. Nothing. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing anything here. The shelves? The I already did this one. This one's not the same. Uh, where... Where do I... What am I supposed to do? Where do I go? Um, uh, my book. Okay, that's obviously that. What the hell? What the hell? How the hell am I supposed to? There has to be something. No way. Yeah, there has to be something. I know there's something. Up here? I'll put on Chaos Cola just to be funny. Um, let me see. Yeah, we know that, but... Um, let's just look at the books. Uh, let's take a look at the, bro the brochure real quick. Uh, is there... A is there a way to move? Hold on, can I move? No? Oh, wait, hold on. What if it's telling me... What, is it gonna tell me where to go or something? Hold on, let me see this. Okay, we're, so we're basically here. We don't know what's over there or here. I wish we could just walk forward, but... Oh, wait a minute! Oh, I'm an idiot! I forgot about that! Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Masonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through the book tiles excitedly. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Th that's odd. Oh! He found something! I know some books must have fallen out the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves are an, is in alphabetical order, but this one. Oh. It's it's the user guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? That is true, because that could be the case. Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to the library. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Alright, who we got first? Uh, let's do Vector. Okay, there we go. We got it. So, the two of you don't believe us. Oh, he already knows. He already knows what's about to go down. It's not that I don't trust either of you. But I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the ballad of your alibis. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what we got. Dragon and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espia really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We prepared to visit evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? 
I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector uh, enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This needs to line up the information we gathered up with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library card, found something, and left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Dragon, could you help me out? Yep, I know what it is. This one. A manual? You think SPO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? All right, thinking time. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a little tough. Ah! Oh, what the freak? The hell was that? Oh! Oh, I got rings. Come on, give me the rings. All right, come on. Got it. We're good. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelf were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Ooh, boy. His lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. <coughs> Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The, Mar the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Dragon, if you don't mind. <coughs> Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip a page and ask away. Oh, I see. All right. Which page should I request upon? Uh, let's do page... I'm curious on this. Okay, um, what efficiency and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in creeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conducting saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought to the, onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Dragon, hit him with another one. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's do 15. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and, and you will be charged a no show fee. This does not apply if you're the over the age of 65. Huh. Alright. Last one. Alright. Uh, let's do 402. What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. Huh. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is always so surprising. I don't know if I'm being bragged about it. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's pretty impressive. No, no. I understand everyone cautions his attitude. 
Spectre was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to sustain. God damn it! Okay, I hate reading. Despite being the truth. <coughs> Okie dokie, awesome. Wow, you definitely read through the manual, so I'm surprised we can't. Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see your reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Back him? God damn it. Alright. We should have a piece of evidence like this. Oh, that was we're reading, but what? Ah, the lock! Shadow! Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up, dragon. Let's get our argument together. Has to be Shadow, because here's the thing. He walked through the library. If he... If we could if we could just act shadow, it would make sense though. I don't know if this is reminding me of Clue. This is reminding me of Clue, the board game. This is really, really good. Alright. Oh shit. Jump. Oh shoot! Okay, there we go. That was close. Shadow walked through the library car to get to a saloon car, where he set the original high score to, on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Nice to know. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had a walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's absolutely no way in Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see, I can sense ex you know, desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire book isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock up all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. He might have been invisible. It's a mystery, my dear dragon. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool Diminir is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see your reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why does this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish not to not notice Shadow's return on the library car? He can go invisible, dude. What should I do? <coughs> no, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on to something. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Hmm? Oh, wait a second. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. Alright. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio could have seen one another? Uh, the map? Shh. <clears throat> Now let's get my thoughts in order. 
And maybe the map might do something. Hopefully. Yay. Oh shit. Ah shit. Oh god. Alright, there we go. The library map? Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down a straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. <coughs> Looks like you have to point where exactly on the map you mean. Where could have Espio been for Shadow not to see him? Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. Wow, I guessed it. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other from the spot because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return to Espio. There's just no way you would have seen them. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. There we go. Too many locked doors to worry about. But I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. No, I'm heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose, while doors <laughs> keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock, goes good clock, while a hero's are in a caboose. <coughs> At this point, I'm feeling confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, dragon. Let's see what's next. Coming. All right, let's go. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. All right, let's continue. All right, next card, what we got? Ah, the casino. This is great. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited each train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? Then I see why you brought the microwave master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. <laughs> Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a bit. Can I explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. A treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of buy collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Faber's Chow- What? Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train card for clues. I deduced that the first chow egg is here, in this train door, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? What did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in a library card with this safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. 
Finders keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind a security guard leads us right to the room holding the Faber Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We do you plan to get that card to use the elevator? And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fur Burst Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lower card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Now, do you have an opinion on this? Eh, sure. Well, I suppose if Blaze and Dragon are in. Okay. Let's get that for Burst Chow Egg. Yeah, that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the for Burst Chow Egg room. It's behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Attack, bribe, or distract? We'll distract, obviously. Distract them? Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a real nice thing to say. Dragon, is everything okay? I never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, so who's distracting the guard? Uh, you are, Rouge. Of course I distract him. Who couldn't resist my venom charms? Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. I skipped. And, oh, uh, yeah, sure. So who's distracting the fit? Wait, what was it said? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on the shell. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you'll be distracted. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, Blaze? Think you can distract the guard, guard Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Reverse is so stoic I feel I have chills well I trust her moving on what's the distraction uh pretend the claw machine is stuck who put the claw machine in the casino doesn't work great as a distraction let's continue the plan with the guard distraction Rouge how will you get the access card no oh, pick their pocket that's not she asked this key, no problem. That child in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. Hmm. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Dragon, what's your plan? Oh, this is gonna be funny. Ha! <sighs> You've been married to a royal family. What is your heritage? <laughs> Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You will need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Okay. Uh... Say the drinks without a coaster? Absolutely vile. I can't think of anything worse. Speckable. I would never such allow a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Why is this here? Ah, that's a proper victory. Oh, no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have tails to disassemble them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, tails is taking a while in tightening their grip. Tails managed to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy, alright, let's just move on. <laughs> alright, we did it. I knew the plan would go off without a hinch. We couldn't have made it with 
far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very neuro thorough, I must admit. It was educated to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real place. That flies. Wow, thank you. I have to save Cody right here under the blueprints. Let's claim our favorite Robert's shout egg. No question, this has got to be the safe without treasure. Aaron in the code on the blueprints to find out, Rouge. Wow! I got it! Hmm. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, we can't be so hasty. You truly think this. Wait, what? I'm curious on how this goes. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? Sure can. All of you will bear the witness to a secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Uh, well, that ain't good. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb. What? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? It's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh my God! What the hell? Um. Take one for the to eat the egg. Chaos control the egg away. You can't shadows not here. Um. Oh, what do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue rider. You gotta cut one like the movies. This isn't a movie. This is real life. Ah, it's got a good point. Uh, okay. Eat the egg. Not when I have salt. I will. <laughs> All right. Let me do the kiss one. Oh my god. I still hear the ticking. Wow, okay. Uh, chaos control? Where do you, where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos demo to be able to do that. Oh, dang it. Um, rock the egg to sleep. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, finish it? Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the egg. Okay. You're on to something. Okay. Sorry, right, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train manual. Oh, what'd he say? Those robots on the taxis in the elevator seem to have a lot of good functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as this, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. And he sure wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. Egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. Ah, well, that was one way to get the hard racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Yeah, look what's inside. Aww. That's nice. The final secret to this bird's chow egg it's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's it's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Roberto egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious what a precious treasure! A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. As much as it's been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. 
All right, we did it. Hmm. Thank you both for your assist. That hunt was truly exactly a thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in the... Oh my god. What? What? What is it? I bought those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assist, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it. You can't just add sweetheart at the end of the sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get you out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed the through, through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just a suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Oh, alrighty. Uh. Okay. Should we interrogate? Okay, alibi. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 just go. Come on. Let's just go. Let's just move. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Lounge. This world looks really nice. Now is this a good... Now is as good a time to, as to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. Uh, no reason is convincing enough. It's, un it's inconceivable for what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dogs are delicious, what? I'd also like to know why you've been hiding doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems our Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lied, we'll have to tell me why. Now, if you can leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet him? Well, looks like Shadow's gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? In deputy. Ah, damn it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, we should we shouldn't really investigate interrogate Amy because we already have. Uh what's here? I told about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these glorious, gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Uh, let's hear. Hmm. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is added. All right. All right, see some printers hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Huh, the printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, your interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me. And there you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Uh, I'll just quietly set this back on the printer. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here. Hey, it's the big chow band. Give us a jam. And that was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Hmm. Alright, what we got here? There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, 
Do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? I don't know, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me... It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Oh, here. All right, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, something leaps out? I just think you should do it. Just, just do it. I mean, we're going to have to do something. All right, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust. You entered the door too fast. It blew everywhere. Oh, boy. Oh, there might be something. No? No? Oh, jeez. Take a beat. Hmm. Did we get one? Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? Alright, let's check. What was this? Ha! <laughs> it turns out something is found! Someone printed out the front page on a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are you sure this, are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Let's see, what's here? We can't move on until we carry the shadow. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see, is there anything? Hmm. Oh, question from Law. You know the journalist can't be the murderer, you remember? We learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the girl, birthday girl wants. Now don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything, anything. Oh, window. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. The windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Huh. Let's see. Nothing here. Uh, sure. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Tails, do you see this? A pull string? What? It's gonna activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on. We have to see where this leads. Just curious. This must be something big. Wait. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Quick, back to the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. I th think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shep. Oh, I get it. I get what's going on. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here eventually, naturally. We certainly will not. Start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will the three of you get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to tend to. 
Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we questioned everyone on this train, and every person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and, and I know why. Oh? Pray tell. Why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Oh, everyone's ready for the scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is at the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. Oh, wait. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's card and then locked all the others so no one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will re remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Does that logic sound though? Was Shadow Traffic Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I, th I think explain the car change. However, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the, the dining car? The passage! Okay, just get my thoughts in order. <coughs> oh, wait! I should have saved! I should have saved it. Uh, I should have saved it for, uh, SBO if they were mentioned. I... I thought I had it. I'll give it another try. Oh, I can do it again. Okay, cool. <gasps> ay, 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 ay. All right, try it again. God, that was that was a little tough. We found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the package, snuck through the library car, walked past distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow merged Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. <coughs> Are you officially accusing Shadow? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ah. If and I were more thorough, damn. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll hear me you once again. If Shadow traveled through a hidden passage and appeared in a library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it was hard to sneak around two people. You have any guesses? Oh, well, Vector and Espio didn't see Sonic because Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Oh? Espio reading in the library checks out? That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that so-whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. 
he was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. <clears throat> As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps we can infer we can go further validating Shadow's claims. We can do what? What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The key ring! That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Yeah, the key ring makes sense. go we got it there's only one reason why there's exactly two keys on the key ring those were the two keys shadow meant to give espion vector no way well what if his own key couldn't one of those be for him i have my own key on me interesting so let's just say shadow's telling the truth then what if Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have had for locking all those doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Shadow really innocent? I think we know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone given, today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Uh, oh. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic hadn't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car lock on the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The, the guy there gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Wasn't Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us. I'm making a leap here, so stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare you. Show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. And trying to keep me away. What evidence shows? I believe this. That feels right. Just organize my thoughts. Okay. Ah! Come on. Come on. Ay ay yeet! A yeet! Oh god. Okay, this is getting a little difficult. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, come on. Give me the give me the race. Oh Jesus! Alright, got it. Got it, 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 You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! Ah, uh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jared B. B. is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, isn't that cute? I haven't gone to any of the shows yet to see them either. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at any specific time and they sell out in minutes. 
So the question becomes, why was this paper found on the in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is getting much clear. Uh-oh, Shadow's getting a little hostile. Uh, boy. The printer uh, uh, is this because... He's a... <laughs> I think this is just to be funny. Leave now. I got the as a birthday gift for Amy? What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow? I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on the, to the website, did, it, did you print the home page by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. Not fantastic with computers, admittedly. Can't believe this. After I accused you of murder? Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all a detective jobs is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets were actually on sale I realized it would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to buy, actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so that I could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the good doctor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every door with these. The plan's a fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, uh, your gesture is so sweet. After I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. I wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Uh-oh. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd like to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see the through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. Through the door! Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Let's do it. Oh, the conductor car should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left. He left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on. Time to investigate. Let's crack on. Hmm. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a good trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May I may any future sorrow be fleeting? Uh, yes, I wish that too. Hmm, what's this? Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hands, wife by your side, paradise. 
All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Ha! <laughs> oh, the speakers. A microphone. We could talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? <laughs> oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> Answer that sort of joke. Oh my god. Let's see what this is. This robot arm is completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should lock this. <coughs> Hi, right, sir. Alright. Okay, what's this? I didn't realize these robotic arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just to how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions though. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. Do I dare? You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash, but... You're satisfied with flying a clue here before, huh? I know they say, I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Are you sure? Wait, wait. I, I did- I missed it! Shit! Alright. <coughs> What's this? Notice these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I can watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Alright, what's this? A vent. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, uh, the tails, right. We're gonna, uh. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Let's talk to Shadow. Isn't it odd that we haven't seen a conductor system train dining car? I figured he has to drive the train the entire time. I guess to say, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. What? <laughs> Let's talk to Amy. Before we talk to Amy, I think we should keep looking around for clues. Seriously? I Wait a second. Hold on. Hmm? What's this? Someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Huh? Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The detective can detect any weapon on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Alright, we got everything. Let's talk to Amy. Let's solve this. Here we go. Well, you two. Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we name a suspect. What do you think? Let's do it! Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. We got it. We got this. Here we go. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Dragon. Why hasn't Sonic showed up? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must be still pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Uh-oh. Le ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. 
I see why you're a detective out of this mystery, Espio. You and I have love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am humble, but a humble I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here this train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we can <coughs> shit. Sorry. Maybe we could ride the train just to relax sometime. Eh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that ain't good. Yep, they noticed. They noticed. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Hold on. He, he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh-oh. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic. He was really hurt the whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Dragon, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic? I don't know. What do you mean? Me. I did. I have no idea. We accuse Shadow. It's not him. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, God damn it. It can't be Tails because he was me the whole time. He was with me the whole time. Shadow. We just got to the bottom of his motivation, remember? Shadow's locking on the door. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. Tails? That can't be right. Tails and I are good. Okay. Uh, Knuckles? Mm. Okay. Blaze? I don't see it. Can I explain your reasoning? Oh, I don't know. I don't. <coughs> it's not. Wait, it's not pick. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got it. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Wait, what? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of you wits you want, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restarting, restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to the light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right! Greg, did you fill everyone in? What did we find that bring this new Espio question to Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits between behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would port him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Dragon I could explain that one too, Dragon. How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him speed reads. Oh, I got him! Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Ooh boy that's absurd memorizing a whole book I know this is a talented bunch but that seems like a lot 
I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is protectionally skilled. I've known Espio for a long time. He once sped read a, read a book, and I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Heh <laughs> If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering a sick hitting passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find a passage. Dragon and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Dragon, who here has evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow! What? Wait! Amy! What?! <coughs> see, they told us we could see something later. Now is the time to think of work. Uh, okay, this is good. Um, Knuckles? No? Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Vector? No, it's not Vector because he's defending him. Rouge! Yes! R Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. <coughs> this right here is a blueprint to the entire train. <coughs> Espio could have easily used this to find a hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Oh, Dragon, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge... Uh, either he no he wouldn't steal Rouge where did you find the blueprints oh uh, the library car it was stuffed with the brochures I checked this little car first and then found the blueprints after leaving so that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage in my theory Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic with Amy's guidelines the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose the logistics are still vague, but Dragon and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Dragon and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Please pray tell. If I murder Sonic, how did I do it? The blow dart! Get the blow dart! Okay, now, here we go. Okay, here we go. Nope! Nope! Missed! You missed me, dick! You missed! Oh god! What the freak? What was that? Okay, we're close though, we're close. <coughs> oh god. Yeet! Yeet! Okay, nope! Ha <laughs> ha! Now we got it! Okay, we got it! We're close! This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. So you mean Sonic must have just been knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Sonic Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to, to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end back at the library. Dragon and I know another way it could have been done. We do. <coughs> what piece of evidence do we have to take a closer look at? Uh, the arm. Let's take a look at the arm. I don't think this is the right direction. Whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, the blueprints? All right, now what's my argument? Getting closer. All right, okay, so we have to pick the blueprints. 
Okay, I think I think the um I think the the arm is last. No. Ow. Nope. Yeet. Bam. Alright, we got enough rings. We're gonna go ahead and push through. Oh, hi. Yo, God. Okay, we got it. <coughs> okay. Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car... Then what route did he get to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. The vent! Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads us straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? Oh shit! The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back there. And a track! A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the rope. This must be the path the arms did take to take the move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up up there. I feel it's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through the vents? The arm! Okay. <coughs> yeah, we got this. It, it has to be Espio. Oh god. Holy shit! Ah oh god. 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 I'm panicking. Oh god. I'm panicking. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. This is too much. Come on. Come on. No! <laughs> come on. Alright. Come on. Alright. Come on. Come on. Alright, come on. We got this. We're close. Alright, there we go. Alright, come on. There we go. 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 Oh, oh, nope. Nope. No, sir. Nope. No, sir, dick. I don't think so. Nope. Excuse me. Coming through. Yep. Fuck you. I'm going later. Do that. 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 And do that. We did it. And got it. <coughs> okay. All right, let's see what we got. Everyone saw the broken arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here. And one of these arm robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track. The robot arms used that to continue the event. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could, could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been... Could the fight have been... Between Sonic and the robot arms? No way. Wait, hold... Hold on. A little bit of a twist here? Okay. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistent link. What kind of inconsistency? That I can't read! Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Shadow. No, not sh no. <gasps> Amy! Amy, you received the hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me that Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh-oh. 
No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Bullshit! <laughs> misheard you? Yes, I said, Assad is going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Gah, uh oh. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? Oh shit! I believe the murderer used the train controls to move Sonic from the conductor cars to the dining car. And lied to Amy's casting further blame on Shadow. For no other reason that to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. And I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO. Oh. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Fess up, fess up, SBO, fess up. What? Oh, Sonic's up! Hey, guys, Sonic's up! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, what? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Wait, what? Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? But no, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train. But what he was really telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use that flicky as a power source. Eggman! No way! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad nick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. There's a, okay, there's a lot you ain't told, okay, bud? I know I'm talking to myself in the game, but dude, seriously, stop saying that. I haven't told you that in the damn interview. There are secrets. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SPO. Uh-oh. SPO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Oh, <gasps> the arms! Hey, stop! What are you doing? Wait, what? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm. Slice it right off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of that in this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Oh. The, the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but... I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh, no. Ooh, sh th this is a total plot twist. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew. <laughs> Dude, I, if I was there, I would have slapped him right in the mouth. <laughs> the situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You should you shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. 
Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> I was just following the rules. <coughs> See? Use this blow dart on Sonic. Station in the conductor car it is laced with non-lethal sweeping agent. Thank you for choosing again. What? What is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic. Stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given a, a, the blown dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of those robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Dragon, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio a blow dart? It can't be it can't be the conductor. It's gotta be the train. At least something's something wanted Sonic out of the picture in good and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a magnet and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is out and out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our mis murder mystery game. Train. Oh, God. Come on out and show yourself, hey, Amy. It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Jesus Christ, Amy. I'm with you, Amy. The tr this train can have it. Come on, there has to be another way to get the train's attention. W what was that? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on! Wait, what's that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I could talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking to I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you enough? This train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. <coughs> Which one of these buttons turned the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No! No! I can't keep my footing! I'll stop. <laughs> and. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? A bunch of evidence have fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. My head, tails, Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hang it in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question, but for now, are you all right? Sorry, the hedgehog asking about me. Wow, amazing, huh? You must have, a, you must, you might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The trains are definitely mad at us. Good call. You gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Wow, what a mess in here. There's a ro robot arm going rogue. I wonder who will have to pick all this up. Look at all this salt that spilled. No wonder you're having bad luck. Quick, pick some up and toss it over your shoulder. Uh, okay. Perfect. I can tell our luck is already turning around. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> wow. My goodness, this door is daunting. The train's doing everything it can to keep up from the conductor car. Let me see if a spin dash can solve our problems. 
Ugh, it'll take more than a few hits to get through. Let's take it easy for now and keep looking around. There must be another way to open this door. Like a switch? Classic door opening mechanism. What doors are you using that require a switch? <sighs> that yellow glow is chilling. I might miss when it was showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. What? Hello? Hello? Oh, Eggman! Oh, God. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Oh, you spiky blue pests. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger's trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. I'm ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, citizen. The, in the, infrastructure, the infrastructure in your towns wouldn't cut it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems wouldn't be sort need sorting out. So I can I can courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Doctor Predictable. The people fear giant spears. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they are stationed in. Seems you managed to make the queen try to try quite train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the, the, compatibil the compatibility of a magnet is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I want to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to run on board. This train's compatibility of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. This so this confirms it. The train is really setting it. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on the train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. So I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I need to make my batting compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my batty of, uh, army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever. But a high and intelligent train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never win just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I'd already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He already knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely has Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic is really hurt, the conductor's being captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I couldn't get everyone safe. Hey! I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See? I'm one of those leap before you think kind of, kind of guys. Huh, okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? 
Well, I speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Whoa, with one big wind up? Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Huh. Now the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Alright. Oh shit! Alright. Our friends are locked in the car up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boot of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, this is all about this. Okay. All right, got it. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. All right, here we go. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. This is really good. This is a really good level. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Shit, come on. Yeet! Come on. Oh, no. I don't think so, bud. Yeet. Got it. We're good. <coughs> you locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Ah, shit. You know. You're playing. You're playing. No. Oh, okay. We start here. Ah, right, come on. Oh, shit. Got it! Sonic! Sonic, you're here. Heh. This is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. We did it. Excellent work, Trapanese pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. Don't turn us into robots. Oh ho, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you on the robots to give Sage from new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. 
Ugh, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Wait. Oh! Oh, we're fighting this thing. Oh, this is the final boss. All right, let's go. All right, bet. None of you can possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave it like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't just force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the good doctor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Conductor, you promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be together each other forever, I was much a younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be so lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. Tuh. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Wait, is there more? Oh! Oh, we gotta fight this thing. There we go. Yep, we got him. A flicky. This is just like the lore card. When my ex best friend let detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. There we go, come on. Ow! Ow! God damn it! I don't think I'm gonna do this. Oh, wait, 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 I drew my. The fuck! <laughs> oh, okay, checkpoint. Got it! 
Hit him again. Just just be delivered to Eggman already. What about what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How dare you? Oh, 100 rings. This is gonna be, this, this is probably the last one. Oh, shit! We're going all out! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, we got the rings! Do not mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Got it! We got him! That's gotta be it. That has to be it. That has to be it. No, no, no. Wait, that's it! No! I'll grab the flicky. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Ooh! Oh, oh, Amy. The train's slowing down. Great job, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty get great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh no. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be raising the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we could just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. You, I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> you never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we'll leave for Spagonia in the morning. And you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation, something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. See if the good doctor is more ready to begin his retirement at the new ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Oh, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Aw. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to your otherwise Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. This troop has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all that clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have saved me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? 
This is, the station has a bakery, and look what I brought. A birthday cake. Oh, wow! Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. Arrive from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger to each celebration. Oh my god. I admire your technicity. May you never lose your vividity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Persona city. Whatever. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know of any of word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't leave me, ever leave me, right? I wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. Ha! <laughs> Wow. It oh oh shit! It's uh it's Eggman, Metal Sonic, and Sage. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy duck, the happy rubber duck, or the angry one? Angry. Sour choose your e sour choice, your evilness. Shut it. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. It tangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... And then... And after all that, I... Yeah, that's just been my life. Oh, wow. Okay. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I will say, this was really... Wow. Yeah, let's see who made the game, because this is um, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, Sega made the music. Huh. Wow. Let's see. Sega. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ian Flynn, there he is. Wow. Thank you, Sega, for letting us make this game. Thank you for playing. Happy April Fool's Day, absurd. Sega. Oh, 
Okay, well... Wow. Um... This game was really good. I actually like... I actually like the story on how it was, and... I do love the plot twists, though, as well. It was, They were all really good. And, to be honest, this was my first visual novel game I ever played. And, I'm honestly glad this was the first one. And, I like the plot, I like the, the, the background, I like the effects, I like pretty much how the story is. And, honestly... I honestly cannot. I honestly wish there's more Sonic visual novel, novel Sonic games because we never really had any story Sonic games in a while. And and I will say this: this was really great. This was really well made. Again, very fantastic story and everything. So <coughs> we get to see certain characters come back. We get to see sbo vector we get to see we get to even see blaze back we haven't seen blaze in a while in a long time since blaze is generations since we've seen her i'm even i'm glad blaze came back and i want to be honest this is really great and i can't wait for more sonic stuff to come however frontiers is still having updates coming in uh we do have update two and three still that's going to be coming in but anyway the adventure stops here. The murderous mystery is over. We've done it. And I will say this. I hope you all enjoyed the ride as well. Just like I did. So thank you all so much for watching this adventure. Thank you all sir, so much for spending time on this video. Because this is a long video. But honestly, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did do this. And, I'm, and I might do more visual novel games soon. But as of right now, I'll stop here. But thank you all again, and as always, this is Dragon Save for All My Dragon Crew. You all take care, and happy April Fool's Day, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.